Hello everyone, today we have a second gen Dell Optiplex, we're going to go through the hard drive replacement for you. We've got Braden in his lovely hands, he's going to do the work for us. Um, so if you've ordered, for example, a replacement hard drive for your machine, we're just going to go through how to get it in the machine, how to get the old one out specifically. Um, so obviously, you've got your big door, your side panel, pull that off. So we've removed the side panel. Okay, so now if you see the blue rectangular sticker on the back of the disk drive here, you're going to put your thumb on that and your finger underneath, lift it up slightly and pull back. That will allow you to remove the disk drive. Now, for the hard drive caddy, you can see this blue slider here. And if you look closely, you can see a symbol of a lock in the corner down here. Now what you're going to want to do is put your finger in this hole here and slide it to the open lock position. From there, you can gently lift out the hard drive caddy and move it like so. Now, in this caddy, you can see there is two blue clips at the sides. If you pull them inwards like so, you can slide out the hard drive. So the hard drive should have two cables in the back. This one, which has five wires going into one connector, and this flat connector. You can disconnect both of them, but the connectors only go in the hard drive one way. You look inside the connector, and in the parts on the hard drive, you can see which way they go in. Now for the new hard drive. When installing the cables in the new hard drive, you can see that the shape on the hard drive matches up with the shape on the inside of the cable. So you want to make sure that goes in like so. And there is no issue putting it in since they only go in one way like a USB. Same with this one. This is your power connection. It's normal for one to not be plugged into anything. Insert that like so. And then you can reinsert into your cadder. Slide it till you hear a click. When refitting the cadder, you will see two circles at the back, or sometimes it will be two lines. You line them up with them, make sure the wires are not in the way, push it down, and slide the slider back the way it was before. Make sure the two connections are still plugged in after this. And then when reinserting the disk drive into the slot, ensure both wires, the black and the red, and the flat black cable are plugged in before you push that back into position. And then you replace the door, and your computer should be good to go.